for this used to be a symbol. So tell us what happens there. And open day, every three months, a massive exhibitions. Also have every last Saturday of the month we open to public as well. So anyone can come in inside, outside. You can talk to the imam directly. It's not a problem. So they're always open to anyone. Uh, uh, posters advertising Muslim aid, like you would in mm. the US, publicise Christian aid, and it's on all side of the buses. And mm. Yes, yeah, you're right. That's it. And um, so, so around here we work with Salvation Armies and others. Mm. He's, he's a river brother. Mashallah, we are proud to have him in our uh, team, and we're um, lucky they have made the time for us. Um, if you want to share your uh, what we believe is important they do not go to work Monday, Friday, chill out on Sunday, football on Saturday, I don't know, go out for a shot on a Friday maybe. Um, weren't really raised with any religious upbringing. Um, and then one day um, when I went to university, um, I stumbled across the, the Quran. I read it, to cut a long story short. Um, I spent nearly a year sort of um, studying all types of religions um, to try and come to the truth. I always believed that this universe didn't pop into existence. I always believed that there was a creator behind it, and that creator caused it with purpose, and that my life had a purpose. I didn't believe that I was just going to live and do a job nine to five, go on a holiday, come back, have kids, teach them the same rubbish, then die. I thought there was a bigger purpose to life than that. Um, so I spent quite a long time trying to see what was the truth, because I believe that that creator would have put some truth on this earth. And now, whatever what came to me and what I thought and what I was taught in school didn't really please my um, my think tank. That's the right word. I didn't mean, really, really keep my thinking. So I sought to set off on my own journey to find out what was the truth. And um, after a long time of negating and, uh, and sort of challenging, I came to the, to the decision that I thought that Islam was the truth. Um, and then from there, I'm here now, eight years on. Um, I have a wife and a young son. Zakat Foundation just really, this is the starting here. I'm really uh, impressed with the activities they're having. Uh, and that's important. Also, we have. Muslim Aid uh, is one of the biggest uh, um, charities as well. I think probably 49 million pounds probably a year that they give out donations. We have Islamic Relief across the road. So most of the stuff around here, the big, big charities are around here. So uh, you, uh, you bring a lot of uh, groups from uh, America and others as well. So they, uh, we are so proud to have them here. At least tell them our side of the story. Sometimes it's important to share. So we have uh, 